says, Kevin, they have knocked your video feed out to Australia, so we can't see the images you're showing everyone. Uh, to quote an Aussie expression, uh, they're lower than snakes' bellies. Uh, Kevin, my question to James is the 18th cra the 18 craft, uh, could they be gathering to stop planet X when it comes by us? What about that, James? Were there a planet X threat, they could stop it. But you don't think there is a planet X threat? Uh, there, there is something, but it's not planet X. What is it? This involves what I, I, I wanted to bring up with the helium, but uh, we didn't get into that and probably can't and, and yeah, we can. talk to Collins. Yeah, let's talk about it. What What's the deal with it? You had a guest on last night talking about uh, polar reversals. Yeah. Uh, actually, everything he talked about could be accomplished with polar shifts, not necessarily going to the extent of polar reversals. So <laughs> there, there is a body of a different kind of matter that uh, visits in, within the solar system uh, every so many thousand years. And uh, uh, it can't be read uh, from uh, uh, the usual types of sensor device devices, but it can uh, can be uh, perceived in its influence as it passes astral bodies. And uh, this is what they are calling Planet X because there is a mythology upon which the concept of Planet X is built. There is a phenomena, but it's not Planet X. And you say it's a whole different kind of matter. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the phone lines. Caller, you're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Uh, Kevin, this is Ryan up in Washington. Hello, Ryan. Um, I don't know if you're aware I... My, I'm having problems with your video feed. I, I don't know if you're aware of that or not. Maybe it's just my computer. But yeah, uh, well, it's a radio show, so you can still hear it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, James, uh, I just want one quick question. Do you have any idea what that that big boomerang that flew over Phoenix in '97 was? Do, do you have yes. any insight on that? Yes. What was it? The cop. Cooperative craft. What does that mean? It was an experiment that was being run in cooperation with uh, human, uh, the human military in the United States, and someone else. All right. Uh, so the other question I had was. Uh, um, um, these uh, sightings that happen uh, quite frequently over cities where they pop up these triangular formation, kind of like circular lights that pop up and they hover there for periods of time. Um, do you have any idea what those are? And I'll just take it off the air. Thank you. Yes, they're signs. ET is giving you signs. They're concerned. All right. Uh, James, do you know by what method, what methodology, um, when, when we talk about reducing population, do you know by what methodology they intend to reduce it? Well, the H1N1 virus vaccinations uh, were part of it, uh, introducing diseases that uh, uh, that can opportunize uh, physical systems and individuals that have already been reduced by pollution, mm -hmm. by 
by seeding and uh, by just the fact that uh, uh, your food supplies aren't safe anymore. All right. Back to the phone line, and caller, you're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Oh, hello, Kevin. This is Haya from Vancouver Island. Hello, Haya. Hello, Haya. Um, hi. Um, James, um, I'm just a little guy. Um, I try to keep myself informed. Um, I'm a healer. I do everything possible to... to um, inform myself of what's going on. What can I do personally to help? What is it that I can do? I, I think you've done, from the sounds of it, you've, you've done what you can do. Uh, the important thing is for people to wake up, to, to see what's going on around them. Uh, the consciousness that can pull just from awareness can make a difference. If, if there's, there's so many people that are waiting to come forward, and they would if they knew the support, they had the support and protection of people like you. Well, I know that you got, I'm, I'm 100% behind all this. Like, I do, you know, I would like to be able to do more. I mean, I just don't know what else I can do. I've, I've tried to inform people. It's very, very difficult at times because lots of people don't want to hear what I have to say. Whether it's it changing, Haya. Oh, thank God, it's eh? Changing. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do? No, you're doing fine. It's people like you that are the reason I'm here. Uh, well, I'm very grateful that you are here and informing us. Haya, thank, thank you, you uh, very much. And thank you for the call. Uh, we have a flash message from the United Kingdom. Uh, let's see. This is from uh, Tors, T-O-R-Z. And it says, Would it be possible for us to send a heartfelt plea to the EMVs in order that the whole world would know that they are there and that they mean business without it being misinterpreted? Maybe a short, sharp, shock would be appropriate for the Wizard of Oz monsters ruling us to realize their time is up. Please send my deepest love to James and thank him for coming on again. Okay, James, Tor sends her deepest love and thanks for coming on again. And it says, oh, and the video is out here too and the sound is intermittent. Ah, well, see, I'm not surprised. I, I expected that we would... Um, we would have people trying to interrupt what we're doing here this evening. But the message is getting out there, uh, James. People are hearing what you've got to say, even with the interruptions. All right, now let me ask you something, James. I want to ask you the question that Tors asked. W is there a way for us to connect some way uh, with these EMVs and send uh, the message that, that we get it? Well, I'm I'm doing that for you. Okay. All right, let's go back to the phone line. Caller, you're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Yeah, good evening, Kevin. It's uh, Terry from Ohio. Hello, Terry. Hi. Um, I've been listening to your guest too you know, on being on the air a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, he says that you know he 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 knows what they know. Um like he's got contact with them i was wondering um you know as far as these guys trying to knock knock uh, kevin off the air and stuff does he do you have any powers of any kind um you know to stop them from taking you off the air or or any special powers you know that would you know help you do that's a good uh, question what about that james do you have any special connection that could uh for 15 years i'm sorry james i talked on top of you say it again I've been fencing with them for 15 years, and let me assure you, if they wanted to knock us off, they would have knocked us off. Now, his question is, do you have any connection with these people that are trying to knock the show off and, and, and interrupt the show? Do you have any connections where you could stop them from doing that? Well, they're not succeeding, are they? 
Not that I have to do anything. They really don't want to knock this show off. You don't think so? Oh, no. Why? Believe me, if they wanted to knock you off, you would be off. Well, that's true. They're, they're just tapping you on the shoulder. Oh, well. I'm glad to have audience of any kind, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, thank you for the call. Yep. All right, 623-444-5889 or 888-223-4599. Let's go back to the telephone and call her. You're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Yes, uh, Kevin, this is Mark from Ohio. Hello, Mark. Uh, hello. I'd like to uh, ask James. Uh, he mentioned something in one of your interviews about true believers being eaten alive at the second advent, and I wondered if he could elaborate.